Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm Dr. Hanzabhambaran Sharma. Let's begin the talk. Sports and exercise medicine is a, one of the subspecialty of the clinical interventional results with primary purpose of CITES, LTS, FORTIES. That is faster, higher, stronger with dog free performance optimization with minim minimization of the injury and illness. That's why sports and exercise training has to be done in a very scientific way because under training will lead to sub performance where over training is associated with the abnormal uh, effect. That's why we have to target overreaching where optimum physiological adaptation or super compensation happens. Otherwise, what will happen? Over training syndrome will occur or if the tra excessive training is associated to the low energy availability then relative energy deficiency in sports will occur which is the, uh, uh, the the topic of focus today and one has to understand that the internal and external load are modified by different mo moderators so that it can uh, 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 so that the load can uh, can lead to the say injury or illness like pathological abnormalities or physiological maladaptation or positive physiological adaptation depending upon different moderators like for example fitness and hence similarly <clears throat> different mod moderator or modifier are, are, are are also there like a sports nutritional uh, consideration uh, because internal and external pressure, different pressure for optimum uh, uh, performance will indirectly or directly affect the imbalance or balance between energy intake and the exercise energy expenditure. And because of this, if uh, uh, sufficient energy is not available, then it will lead to low energy uh, the availability. And this is uh, 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 in, uh, more common in sports because the sports are associated with the extreme volume of the EEE. That means, uh, you know, in some sports like endurance sports more than 30 hour training per week may happen or there is at attempt to improve the power to weight ratio desire to have an excessive leanness you know a sports a specific uh, physical alteration like for example uh, for for a dance dancer uh, for for the gymnast and because of this low energy availability uh, you know uh, uh, it, it, it may lead to uh, adaptive LEE, that is a low energy availability. Adaptive means it is a benign. That means your physiology is able to counter that, that, that compensatory mechanism, which is basically the physiological plasticity. And when this un, what is low energy availability is, uh, you know, it, it is a very excessive or it is present for a very long time, then it may lead to problematic LEE, which is associated with substantial as well as a potentially long term impairment of the health and performance. That is negative uh, effect is there. And that's why, and this will ultimately lead to what is known as RADS, relative energy, the energy deficiency in sport, which is the impairment. It is a syndrome of impairment of physiological and or psychological functioning associated with the problematic low energy availability and the abnormality may be a, a, a decrease in energy metabolism or say reproductive function, musculoskeletal uh, abnormality, immunity uh, problem, glycogen synthesis problem, cardiovascular and hematological health impairment, uh, which may individually or collectively lead to impaired well-being, increased injury risk, illness risk, and decreased sports performance. And that's why one has to understand uh, the concept of the, the grading of the low energy availability. There is EA, uh, you know, traditionally 30 uh, kilocalorie, uh, you know, per kg uh, fat-free mass per day has been uh, considered as a threshold for, uh, uh, you know, uh, the abnormal low energy availability. There is 30, 45, and 45. Equal to more than 45 is basically, uh, you know, high energy for uh, muscle mass and again 45 is for maintenance uh, whereas uh, 30 to 40 is for uh, uh, body uh, body fat and the mass loss whereas less than 30 uh, associated for a uh, less than 30 for a very long time is associated with the health abnormality but the point one has to understand that this threshold is debated and there is no universally accepted threshold and there, uh, and especially you know uh, 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 especially among female as well as uh, in males because this threshold was established among uh, sedentary uh, female uh, 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 population and it's not suitable for athlete also but one has to understand that for male this threshold or uh, you know maybe a little bit lower as compared to the female it may be uh, as low as 9 to 25 uh, kilocalorie per kg uh, uh, fat free mass per day you know and 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 this, uh, you know, uh, this uh, assessment of the energy availability is very important because low energy availability is the potential, is the causative factor for RDS, and that's why uh, uh, energy, uh, you know, uh, EA assessment could be the diagnostic tool for prevention as well as management of the RDS. But the problem with the EA is you have to understand the energy intake. You have to accurately measure the energy intake. You have to accurately measure the EEE, that is energy uh, uh, exercise and uh, uh, energy expenditure, and it is divided upon by fat-free mass that is you have to measure accurately the fat-free mass that is both body composition 
analysis so all this uh, may have a practical challenge therefore different indicator have been uh, developed to identify the reds reds was originally started with uh, you know uh, with the name of the female athlete triad where the triad composed of the low energy availability or eating disorder may or may not be associated with eating disorder with the uh, you know menstrual abnormality in the form of functional hypothalamic abnor uh, amenorrhea and uh, less bone uh, you know bone mineral density or osteoporosis or stress factor this is the classic case of the female athlete triad but this female athlete triad uh, you know this is a bas basically a continuum you know a spectrum where this is the optimum uh, one end is the optimum health and another is a female athlete triad and uh, the female uh, may present at the different stage of this uh, sp sp spectrum and since it involves other uh, system as well apart from these three system that's why reds is uh, used by ioc uh, starting from 2014 and and not only female you know among the male also they stimulate pre prevalence for lea that is low energy availability or reds may be as high as you know 15 to 70 percent one has to un un uh, understand so different uh, you know uh, 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 different system are involved uh, by reds uh, you know and uh, you know not only restricted to menstrual health or the or the bone health you know it may be associated with endocrine metabolic hematological lots of the, the, the other factor and the ultimate the causative factor is the low energy availability problematic low energy availability starting with the starting the low energy availability doesn't have any kind of the clinical uh, symptoms that is the you know what you call uh, the adaptive that is the physiological plasticity you know benign case and when it is severe uh, severe then it leads to the different abnormal like for example impaired reproductive function or impaired bone health uh, like for example because of the decrease uh, you know energy intake because of the less uh, uh, less percentage body fat below the critical level mass your uh, you know normal uh, pulsatile release of the gonadotropin releasing hormone will be affected because of this luteinizing hormone and the you know follicle stimulating hormone will be problematic then estrogen and progesterone will be affected and because of that you know functional hypothalamic uh, amenorrhea can uh, happen and because of the hormonal imbalance bone health will be affected and similarly for a uh, male testosterone level will be affected so in this way lots of other factor will also be uh, uh, affected uh, 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 system will be affected like for example say uh, you know a sleep disturbance mental abnormality which may lead rise to lea and lea may be uh, uh, give rise to mental uh, illness that is by the directional relationship or it may be urinary abnormality will be there git problem will be there uh, skeletal muscle abnormality will be there so lots of uh, you know different uh, you know uh, functional uh, health the problem of different physiological function will be there which can be measured by different laboratory as well as clinical or uh, say questionnaire based method like for example impaired reproductive function can be measured by say over overnight uh, sampling of the uh, ls or fss or say a post pubertal males so morning total and free testosterone can be measured or by using the say different uh, questionnaire like low uh, low energy availability in female questionnaire or low energy availability in male questionnaire or androgen deficiency in aging male questionnaire or for impaired bone health dexa is the preferred one or if you don't have uh, dexa or so you can just uh, record the clinical uh, history like for example bone stress injury or fracture history can be uh, recorded in this way you know uh, the history taking is also very important and impaired energy metabolism regul regulation can be uh, you know can lead to say a different abnormality like for example thyroid thyroid function that's abnormality you can measure the leptin cortisol uh, you know you uh, uh, and you can measure say the energy intake or expenditure like for example exercise associated energy uh, expenditure or non exercise activity uh, bmr or thermic effect of the food or you can measure the cortisol and uh, darimar also or mental health problem you know uh, uh, can be uh, you know uh, can be assessed by the clinical interview with a, a psychiatric or psychologist or say different uh, different Questionnaires, uh, you know, including the eating uh, disorder, like for example, EDEQ, that is eating disorder examination questionnaire, or brief uh, eating disorder in athlete questionnaire, or self report, uh, you know, uh, say self reporting of the sign and symptoms, you know, uh, this thing can be used. And similarly, you know, REDS also affect different, uh, you know, uh, pro uh, performance profile, that is different physiological function, which may lead to the uh, performance abnormalities. Like, for example, low energy availability is associated with the decreased athletic availability for a training it may be because of the injury or illness like decreased responsiveness to the training also that is uh, you know adaptive positive adaptation will not occur or decrease recovery or decrease uh, cognitive or performance skill or decrease motivation decrease muscle strength or decrease endurance aerobic as well as uh, 
anaerobic uh, performance, you know, decreased power output. So everything can happen, and you can uh, basically measure by using uh, uh, different, uh, uh, you know, the different methods. Like for example, decreased uh, uh, athletic availability, uh, self-reported days or uh, days of training or competition loss or modified because of the illness or, uh, or injury. It can be recorded or decreased training response. Like for example, a, a survey, a longitudinal tracking of a valid, you know, performance related metrics specific to that particular athlete or sports can be used or by using different uh, method like for example exercise like that like that profile ketoglamine concentration or like that is to say rating of perceived exertion ratio or delayed recovery you can know by using different labs that is like for example creatine a phosphate system a p31 magnetic resonance spectroscopy or exercise induced muscle damage by say muscle biopsy or different questionnaire or creatine kinase or different uh, you know commercially uh, the uh, a commercially available, uh, you know, gadget uh, using different uh, the algorithm. So you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, use uh, uh, this thing. Another important point which one has to, uh, you know, to understand is a different performance abnormality can be measured by using different, uh, you know, a different physiological, uh, uh, you know, testing. Like, for example, say, uh, uh, you know, decrease, uh, uh, say, uh, uh, decreased strength, a uh, decreased muscle strength uh, uh, can be used by say longitudinal tracking of the different sports specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, test system. Like for example, say uh, snares or clean and jerk for say uh, weightlifting uh, throw uh, throw distance for short put or say different isokinetic, uh, you know, is isokinetic machine or one RM, uh, you know, one RM uh, measurement or say decreased uh, endurance performance can be used by sports specific, uh, you know, different tests like for example sports related time trial or laboratory. Uh, related with uh, you know vo2 max measurement or like that threshold measurement or multi stage uh, you know subtle run test like for example dip test or yo yo test or cycling uh, pro different protocols are there and anaerobic or power related uh, performance decrease can be measured by say a wind gate test you know wind gate test or say a vertical uh, you know uh, jump uh, uh, vertical jump or counter movement jump bosco test or standing uh, abroad protocol so different protocol can be used in order to uh, measure whether a performance uh, you know decrement uh, physiological uh, uh, the decrement of performance happens or not. Like, for example, in this study, you can see that, uh, you know, these are the female swimmer, you know, the open uh, one is the, you know, the one who is having, uh, you know, ovarian uh, suppress uh, 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 the athlete, that is the athlete who is having, uh, you know, a female athlete triad. And the black, and th that is the close one, is the normal, uh, menstrually normal uh, female. You can see that the starting from the zero to the 12th week, when the same amount of the training is given, same amount of the distance, see, same amount of training is given, you can see that the four meters swim velocity is significantly improved for a normal menstruating female as compared to the the female with where ovarian suppresses there see you can see the drop you, you can see the drop see you can see the drop drop see the drop of 9.8 percent drop is there in case of the uh, say uh, the ovarian surface uh, uh, suppress a, a female athlete whereas uh, you know improvement of 8.2 percent is there and hence reduce responsiveness of the training uh, and subsequent performance is there when you know a uh, uh, female athlete triad or reds is present so this paper shows that and in order to tackle the problem you have to understand the physiological model that is why this happens and what are the steps which can take the first uh, the, the first point in the physiological uh, clinical physiological model of reds is you have to identify what are the uh, the basic uh, the health the outcome abnormality health abnormalities or performance abnormal by using different tests then you have to uh, you know you uh, you uh, then you, uh, what you, you you have to understand uh, you know the uh, you know the characteristic of the LEF, which is the uh, which is the reason behind it, that is low energy uh, 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 the availability. It may be severity, duration. Duration means of a short duration, uh, you know, moderate or long. Short is uh, say days to week, or moderate is say a week to month, and a long uh, long is say uh, you know months to year. The, all these things you have to understand. Then stage, uh, stage, step three is uh, you have to understand the moderating factor. That is the factor which might alter the effect of this LEA on the body system in order to have that, uh, you know, health and a performance outcome. It may be related with, say, gender. It may be gynecological, uh, genetic, epigenetic, biochemical factor, uh, biomechanical factor is there, medical history of the illness or uh, any kind of problem, low testosterone, PCOS, high androgen in females, you know, you, uh, low, low estrogen in females, then training at the characteristics like, for example, high impact load, low, low impact load training training error is there eccentric uh, frequent use of the eccentric dietary habit like for say energy intake carbohydrate availability in case of low carb uh, athlete or say protein intake problem or vitamin d deficiency or uh, the iron deficiency calcium intake all these things or psychological factor present environmental stress so everything you you have to take into uh, consideration and the fourth one is you have to understand the mechanism behind uh you know you know the the 
the mechanism which is the you know the uh, uh, the behind this moderating factor and associated with the outcome that is you, you have to understand that only then you will be able to tackle it and in order to tackle it uh, uh, you know you have to understand the stratification different you know risk stratification with the sports participation guideline as well as treatment guideline you have to understand and this is the basic uh, you know uh, you know uh, traffic light system with the addition of the orange where green means no treatment is required full training can be done where red means a very high uh, risk of the severity risk profile is there immediate treatment with with and without hospitalization is required and follow up say daily or monthly follow up is required significant uh, you know modification to training and competition is required so this is basically uh, you know uh, the different uh, you know uh, color coded system uh, and this color coded system like for some green means everything is okay but the the color coding system also take into consideration what is known as the indicator for reds these are a different uh, you know clinical as well as different uh, you know uh, he, uh, you know uh, 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 clinically relevant information which we have to take into consideration like for example a maximum of the one secondary indicator may be present in case of the green but there should not be no primary indicator for example yellow yellow one or two primary indicator with uh, plus minus maximum of one secondary or equal to or uh, uh, greater than equal to two secondary indicator like for example orange is also there uh, red is also there red means equal to or more than four primary indicator or three primary and equal to or more than two secondary indicator so that's why you have to understand the different uh, you know uh, uh, different uh, indicator also apart from this color coding you have to uh, also remember there are certain severe medical indicator which may make anything the athlete may be at any color coding system but uh, but the presence of this thing means immediate medical attention with potential hospitalization and removal from a training and competition is required like for example uh, less than equal to less than 75 percent median bmi for as and sex or electrolyte uh, imbalance or ecg abnormality or say a very severe bradycardia that is less than 30 equal to less than 30 beat per minute for adult or for adolescent equal to less than 45 beat per minute hypotension or ortho uh, you know orthostatic uh, in intolerance maybe the, or any kind of the you know acute medical uh, complication of the malnutrition or or any kind of the relevant information this thing one has to uh, understand so in order to properly classify the athlete based upon this color coding system you have to understand the indicator like for example severe primary indicator which is counted as two primary indicators basically means if the primary amenorrhea is present then you have to count as, as a two primary indicator or severe indicator that is primary amenorrhea or prolonged secondary amenorrhea prolonged means uh, equal to or more than 12 consecutive menstrual uh, cycle because of say functional hypothalamic amenorrhea in case of the male uh, the clinically low or uh, free or total testosterone should be there these are the uh, severe primary indicator and these are the primary indicator like for example the secondary amenorrhea of say absence of 3 to 11 conjugative menstrual cycle caused by the functional hypothalamic uh, amenorrhea there is subclinical low uh, total of free cholesterol or it may be based upon say thyroid profile or it may be based upon say bsi there is bone stress uh, uh, injury like for example equal to more than one high risk high risk means uh, it, it, it should be there at the femoral neck sacrum or pelvis or oh, or equal to or more than two low risk uh, BSI within the previous two years. All, all this thing is important, or it may be depending upon the B, that is uh, BMD, that is bone mineral density jet score, that is uh, from from the DEXA scan, or it may be the, the, uh, depending upon height and weight, you know, previous growth uh, tra trajectory, or it may be depend upon the presence of the eating disorder, like EDEQ uh, questionnaire, that is eating disorder examination questionnaire, elevated score. So all this thing is important, or clinically diagnosed, uh, you know, DSM five TR defined eating disorder so based upon this primary indicator are classified and uh, and apart from a primary indicator there are a certain secondary indicator also like for example oligo uh, and the menorrhea uh, oligomenorrhea caused by the function hypothalamic uh, uh, you know uh, and the menorrhea there is fsh or say history of the one low bsi uh, one low bsi say within the previous two years uh, an absence of the less than six months from training due to bs in the previous two years so all this thing uh, you know uh, secondary uh, uh, secondary indicator is important apart from the primary and secondary indicator they are a potential indicator which are not considered into uh, calculation for a risk factor but uh, more research is going on they are also important like for example say a low gf uh, uh, you know igf1 or say low clinically low blood sugar insulin uh, uh, level or, or iron abnormal 
abnormalities or say GIT or liver dysfunction urinary incontinence or reduce or low tarimar or sleep disturbance or say symptomatic orthostatic hypotension. So all these things are important or say exercise dependence or exercise addiction or or say body uh, dissatisfaction or body dysmorphia or low B, uh, you know uh, low BMI or extreme bradycardia or uh, uh, low systemic or diastolic uh, you know uh, blood pressure. So all these things are also important but how to go about from practical point of view from practical point of view, first one is you have to do screening and screening has to be inexpensive by using lots of questionnaire and if some abnormality is present then you go ahead with a more expensive uh, biomarker testing and then based upon that color coding has to be done and ultimately clinical diagnostic and a treatment has to be done and this clinical diagnosis and a treatment is to be is to be done by multidisciplinary team led by sports and exercise medicine doctor because the diagnosis is very important and for diagnosis you know it, it is a team effort and depending upon a say, validity questionnaire or clinical interview or physical examination huh, clinical exams or laboratory or imaging data all this thing has to be taken into consideration for the diagnostic and like for example here in in, in this study uh, the collected data from our uh, uh, player 34 female athlete long distance runner and the uh, dancer you can see that we we have used low energy availability in a female questionnaire that is lift q questionnaire and out of the 34 only four have a risk factor that is equal to more than eight out of 25 that means they have a potential risk and therefore these uh, four female has to be further uh, examined and this questionnaire basically take into consideration of the three factor injury profile gastrointestinal function menstrual function as well as the use of contraceptive by using this we can uh, you know screen uh, you know the athlete and based upon screening then uh, you, you have to go into the further examination and you know uh, monitoring uh, uh, you, uh, all this thing is important and for the treatment is always multidisciplinary and multi speciality like it has to be everything from yellow to red has to be treated medical uh, evaluation treatment has to be given by collection of the all the uh, uh, team of doctor it may be consists of the sports medicine doctor dietitian exercise physiology therapy psychologist everything should be there along with coaches and the gu guardian and the corners from the treatment is very important to restore the athlete optimal energy availability because low energy availability is the cause and that's why it can be done by number one increasing energy attack and number two by relatively decreasing and or decreasing energy expense uh, that is exercise training modification has to be there and education and the behavior modification is the ultimate aim and reassessment has to be done regularly with the key diagnostic integrator retested again and again so that in order to confirm that the restoration of the normal function happens so this is very important and so primary prevention is always and always education and awareness that is education education and education secondary prevention is early identification by using different screening health interview screening tools health or objective assessment of the red biomarkers and the tertiary prevention in a treatment is always team approach team approach very important and the restoration of the optimum energy availability has to be done first by physiological approach that means uh, you know in the uh, dietary uh, you know intervention and exercise intervention and and the some of the pharmacological intervention you can use like for example 70 beta estradiol transdermal patches continuously can be used along with the cyclic oral micronized progesterone in oligo uh, oligo Amenoric endurance athlete has been shown to increase the jet score of the BMD, that is bone mineral density, and some of the psychological across can be used. Hmm. And another point which one has to understand is a treatment goal is very important because treatment goal should be number one, safe sports uh, uh, participation while undergoing long term treatment monitoring. Number two, monitoring is very important along the risk stratification because you have to assess whether safety is there for continuous sports participation or not, modification is required or not. So, so all, all these things is very important. And the approach has to be health first and performance second, not the otherwise. Health first, then performance uh, uh, approach should be the done. And that's why, uh, you know, the point which I want to make with this uh, topic is red, uh, you know, there is the red set, relative energy deficiency syndrome. It has to be tackled by a team sports of the sports and exercise medicine team, uh, you know, approach, sports and exercise medicine staff, sports and exercise science staff with the coaching staff, as well as the athlete and the athlete support staff and the parent and all this guardian and everything has to be physiological approach first. Have physiological approach has, has to be first. So the positive physiological adaptation, continued positive physiological adaptation happens so that performance, health and fitness is improved. Thank you very much.